So this is a demonstration on how to uh, communicate to a MCP2515 microchip CAN controller through socket CAN on Linux. So basically this demo is also applicable to MCP25625 since MCP25625 is a dual die of MCP2515 and a CAN transceiver. So for the hardware, I have here the um, Raspberry Pi and I have here a MCP2515 uh, demo board and then I have a CAN bus analyzer here to monitor the activity on the CAN bus. And then I also have here a logic analyzer so that I can check on the activity on the SPI pins and then I have a um, software I have here the CAN bus analyzer and then the Linux uh, interface here so I'll, I'll also be showing the uh, the waveform in the SP and in the SPI pins so basically I use this one as the reference on how to configure the uh, the socket can okay so first is I'm going to uh, set the baud rate so trigger the the logic analyzer and then showing the baud rate to I'll be setting the baud rate to 500 megahertz. Okay. So in the canvas or in the logic analyzers, it shows here's how to show the. So when you set the baud rate to 500 megahertz, it sends this data. First, it sends C0 and then followed by this one okay okay so for more So here it is. Okay. And then after setting up the baud rate of the canvas to 500 megahertz, it's now time to send a message on the canvas. Okay. So first, I'm going to use the can send. then say I use the one two three sharp then one one two two three three four four okay then once I trigger this one oops okay so it exceeds the uh, the maximum um, identifier for the standard identifier so can send so let's try other let's say <clears throat> 001 So let's try this one. Okay. So as you can see, <clears throat> I forgot to uh, input the the name of the device, which is Scan Zero. 
So I send the identifier one <clears throat> with this data. So as you can see in the Canvas Analyzer, so we're able to see, detect the one one two 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 three three and so on. Okay, and in the SPI pins, here's the data. There's several data that has been sent to the SPI. So first is this. Okay, so that's how to send the data through socket can. So let's now try to uh, receive data. So can dump. Can zero. Okay, I will now be sending data to. So let's say. say one one and data length would be eight let's say a a okay so I was able to send through the canvas through canvas analyzer this data, this following data, and it was received on the socket can interface. So this is the SPI communication. So as I continuously send this data, we should be able to receive continuously this data.